Okay, welcome back. Let's play Chrysalis. Lockers are here. And last time we stole a blizzard bracelet. And these people hate men. We didn't, so we didn't have to do this now. This is the earliest part, point in the game you can do it. It's just it's so much easier for switching swords for level two. But anyway, let's teleport back to um, Portoa. That's what we want. Because in Portoa, there's also some rivers we can now cross with the water sword. Well, first, there's some more people I want to talk to in town. A girl from the Southern Lake. Hey, that was the girl in the teleporting machine. I remember her. Also, we haven't been over here yet. There was nothing we could have done here before, but... We lost his fog lamp. Okay. I guess from here we're supposed to figure out that... Well, the, the queen slash fortune teller slash wise woman wants us to... Um, defeat waterfalls on the ocean or something. And this guy has a boat, but he can't use it without his fog lamp. So we have to find that. I'm not sure if there is anyone who actually directs us to where it might be, but um, there's there's a cave directly east of the town, and that's where it is. So I'm gonna go there now, because it's the next item on the agenda. Oops. Right. Whoa. Right here. And maybe I should have avoided those things more. Hey, where do you come from? That was a fairly low level enemy for this type of area, isn't it? Okay, let's get my heal on for this. Okay. Yeah, okay. This place is a little bit of a maze. Oh wait, we need to win for this. There's a few dead ends and such, and loops, but shouldn't be too hard. Wait. And we need water for you, don't we? They probably paralyze me as well. So any enemy that paralyzes me paralyzes is it's good to use your turbo attack on, as I said. Where am I going? Oh yeah, I'm going this way. Yeah, last night I mentioned that if you're doing this type of attack and you're paralyzed, your sword might be sticking out. In which case, they'll just walk into your poison out sword. So, this is plant. I think that cure is paralyzed. I'm not sure. I don't know. Moving on. Let's dodge some of these guys. It's, yeah, this is the right way. Sketched out a map for myself. Okay. Oh, no, okay, wind works. I think this cave is all about wind and water. I think. Yeah, this is the right way. And we just go south. Ooh. Yeah, I think if your defense is high enough, certain enemies can't hurt you. In the same way that you can't hit enemies if your level is too low, if your attack's too low. In the same way, if your defense is high enough, certain enemies can't hurt you if their attack is too low. So another good reason to... So I'm glad I hit level 9 and bought this mirrored shield and the platinum armor that helps a lot for these annoying ass bats. I wasn't sure if it would work, but at least for the bats it helps. Not for the mushrooms, of course. Okay, I can't kill the mushrooms. But, yeah, this way. Left is a dead end here, so I'll go right. And, I think... Yeah, right. Right is a dead end slash loop. Like, it brings you back to here, sort of, so I'll go this way. I'm trying to go the fastest route through these things. Yeah, if you go directly to the right here, it'll loop you around back to an earlier part, so I'm going to go this way. There's no treasure in this area besides that one legend plant, it's just the fog lamp and a bunch of dead ends, so this place can take a while. 
That bridge is part of the loop I mentioned that just goes in circles. Oh wait, maybe we need fire for them. Oh. Okay, I think the mushrooms are immune to every to wind and water. I'm not sure. I was paralyzed for a second, I think. Maybe not. I'm guessing now. Yeah, water works. Okay. Wait, is this the right way? Yeah, this is right. This is the second bridge, so... What? Oh, okay. Paralyzed is different than petrified. That's what it is. If you're paralyzed, you can't charge. If you're petrified, or vice versa. Yeah, condition paralyzed. So paralyzed means you can't charge. Petrified is where you turn to stone for a while, and then it turns off. Okay, and the fruit of lime turns you back from being stoned. The lysis plant turns off paral paralysis. Okay, so it's a good thing I got that, and it's a good thing I didn't get paralyzed too much, because basically, you... Paralyzed isn't too bad, because the turbo attack is usually good enough to kill everything, but... Of course, you can't get through those stone, lawns, stone walls if you're paralyzed. So this dungeon can actually be really long and annoying if you get paralyzed and can't heal yourself or something, and there's a stone wall in the way, you have to go all the way back to town, stay in an inner bind item, come all the way back here, just to float up. So maybe it's a good thing I skipped all these enemies, because fighting them gives you a chance of being paralyzed. But that's okay, we have the fog lamp, and that's all we needed. And we have lots of mana, so we can teleport out of here. Back to Porto. Okay, I could have got screwed there if I got paralyzed a couple more times, but we did good. So now, so... Okay, let's give this guy the fog lamp. Here you go. The owner accepts the fog lamp. I did. I got it all for you. How I got put behind those walls, I don't know. Like, so I put it in there and then put up a stone wall in front of it, and then a whole bunch more stone walls, I don't know. There's not many mini bosses in this game in Lotus. There's a few big bosses, but for all these side side not really side quests, but mini quests along the way, there's no bosses. But now we have free access to the boat. So that's a good thing. Let's see where it leads. Well, yeah, we can't charge because we're technically moving here. But that's okay, it doesn't last long. It just takes you here. Oh, good. Lookout tower. Kensu, he lost something. That might be important later. So now, if you're not sure what to do, I got stuck here for a long time. I remember the first time I played this game, I got here and I didn't know what to do. But the shell flute now works. Yay! So this basically works the same as walking, only it basically just lets you walk on water. Now this is where we have to go. I think we have to go in there first. We go in that cave and it comes out here. I think that's what we have to do, but I want to explore more first. Well, there's the waterfalls they talked about. Um, oh yeah, there's enemies there. They're good, they're good for leveling up on as well. I think they give you nice experience. I think there's one other... There's a town somewhere in here. I forgot to map this place out, I think, but... Go in here and see what this is, see what's going on with this. Okay. 
Okay, we can always call him again, so. Oh, this is the town I was looking for, never mind. Well, I'm crazy. I was like, this doesn't look like a town, does it? It looks like a cave. So apparently there's a town inside a cave? Yeah, okay. Anyway, this is the town I was looking for the whole time. So that's good. We found a town. This is Joel Island. Evil Spirit Island, okay. Okay. Evil Spirit Island. Why would it be a monster? Okay, so, okay, there's another town to the west that got attacked or something. Okay, so that's where we go next. I think I had to mix it up, but... Alright, well, we made some progress, and we can now teleport to here. This is the town of Joel, so... Next time we figure out what else is in this ocean for us to do. So, thanks for watching. Later.